वेलकम टू द एम एस पी ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म वी ब्रिंग यू द मोस्ट रिलेवेंट कंटेंट इन एन एक्साइटिंग डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म टूडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मॉड्यूल फ्रॉम अप्लाइड मैकेनिक्स विच इंक्लूड द बीम वेर विल बी द स्टडी सम इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट अबाउट द बीम एंड वी विल बी प्रैक्टिसिंग सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन इट सो लेट्स बिगिन Dear students, we will start with the module Applied Mechanics, topic Beam. The learning objectives are: first one, understand the types of beam, supports, and loads. Second one, calculate the support reactions of simply supported and cantilever beam. Third one. Calculate support reactions by graphical method. Learning outcomes. The first learning outcomes are identify the types of beam required for the given situation. The second one, determine the reactions in the given type of beam analytically and graphically. utility relevance in rcc frame structure the beam is the horizontal structural element which is take the vertical load only the second the beam is used in trusses or in a steel structure as a tension member next in factories the beam is used as a horizontal moving girder continuous beam is used in uniform girder bridge cantilever beam is used for bay window and the balconies utility relevance of this unit with respect to real life for the better understanding the construction of beam or what is a means by the beam to simulate of construction of beam shown in the video this is the platform of foundation here is the reinforcement in the column these are the link here is the second column and reinforcement with its link then it's casted by rcc this is the reinforcement of beam there is a bent up bar end bent up bar and hooked this is the second end bent up bar these are the stirrups to bind that reinforcement in given position these are the column reinforcement for upper floor it's a casting of beam this horizontal member is known as beam here is the extended portion show the overhanging beam this total element is known as beam subject to subject relevance in applied mechanics equilibrium helps to solve the shear force and bending moment second shear stress in beam it also help to solve the slope and deflection fixed beam continuous beam moment distribution method the following terms are required to know the equilibrium unit 1 mechanics and the force system fundamental units force its unit its characteristics bose notations force system unit 3 resolution and composition orthogonal component moment resultant parallel force system by using analytical method graphically representation of force space diagram polar diagram these terms are very helpful 
to calculation of beam reactions by analytically or by graphically. Beam. It is a structural horizontal member which length is considerably more than other two dimensions and is transversely means vertically loaded. Types of beam. Simple supported beam, cantilever beam, fixed beam, overhanging beam, continuous beam. It is better shown in a diagram. Simple supported beam. It is freely supported over the wall or column. Cantilever beam. One end of the cantilever is firmly fixed and other end is free. Fixed beam. Both end of that beam is firmly fixed into the wall. Overhanging beam. The end portion of this beam is extended beyond the support. This beam is overhanging. Continuous beam. The beam is rest on more than a two supports. This beam is known as continuous beam. Types of supports. First support is simple support. In figure show, this type of support is known as simple support which is freely supported over wall and column. Hinge support. Hinge support are free to rotate but not translate in any direction. In diagram show, this point show the hinge support. Roller support. Roller support are free to rotate and translate along the surface upon which the roller rests. The diagram representation of roller support is in this pattern. There is a roller is provided at the end of that particular beam. The support is known as roller support. Fixed support. This type of support is firmly fixed into wall. Types of loading. Point load. Uniformly distributed load. Uniformly varying load. There is a diagram representation is point load, vertical or inclined. The load which is act at the single point of the beam, this is known as point load. Uniformly distributed load. The load which is uniformly distributed over the throughout the span is known as uniformly distributed load. Uniformly varying load. This load is uniformly varying over the throughout the span of the beam. Do you have any questions? Yes, sir. I have one question. What is the difference between simple support and fixed support? Okay. Suppose the beam is thick like this, means it is supported and freely supported over wall and the column. This is known as simple support. But similarly, this beam are firmly tightened into the wall or firmly fixed into the wall. This is known as fixed support. I think so. You better understanding the answer. You satisfied? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Beam reactions for simple supported and cantilever. For simply supported beam, case one, point load act on the beam at the center. Suppose this is the figure of simple supported beam. Here is the reactions RA and a reaction RB and the vertical downward force is P. It is act exactly at the center of the beam. 
how to solve or how to calculate the reactions of this beam the first step is taking the summation fy that's equal to 0 what is the means by the summation fy the forces acting on the y direction that's equal to 0 the first force is vertical in upward direction and the second p is vertical in downward direction in that conditions the upward vertical forces are the positive and the downward vertical forces are negative then we easily get that the ra minus p plus rb equal to 0 the students are common mistaken point is this minus sign student are not taken the vertically downward forces as a negative they are taking the positive sign and after that the solution of ra plus rb is it negative so be carefully about this step only this step give the one marks to the students the next step is the summation ma equal to 0 the rb into l minus p into l by 2 that's equal to 0 Summation MA means the moment produced at A that's equal to 0. Moment means force into the distances. Okay, we have to take the RB is a one force and their distance in between A and B. The B point is far from the A is L length and the second one the P force is from the A point is L by 2 distance. Then this step is Rb into L minus P into L by 2 that's equal to 0. By solving this step, we easily get that the Rb equal to P by 2. Putting the value of Rb in equation 1, we get that the value of Ra. Ra plus Rb is P. Then the value of Rb is P by 2, then the value of R is also P by 2 because addition of P by 2 plus P by 2 that's equal to one single P means satisfied over this condition is Ra plus Rb that's equal to P. Case 2, you will act on entire span of beam. This is the beam and you will each W kN per meter. Also, the UDL is, is a vertical force, but it's a uniformly distributed over the entire span. In that conditions, how to calculate the reaction of RA and RB? Take first step, summation FI that's equal to 0. Here is that RA is a positive, it's a upward force, minus W into L. Because of W is a UDL, and it's throughout the uniformly distributed over the entire span. That's why W kilonewton per meter means one meter the intensity of UDL is W. Then the total span you have to consider. This is W into L plus RB that's equal to zero. Okay. The positive forces are RA and RB and the negative forces are W into L. The next step is the addition of Ra plus Rb that's equal to W into L. Taking the second step, summation moment at A that's equal to 0 for the calculation of Ra and Rb. Then take Rb into L minus W into L. W into L is intensity of UDL and L by 2 they act exactly on the span in half, half portion. The next step is Rb that's equal to WL by 2 kilonewton. Putting the value of Rb in equation 1, we easily get that the value of Ra is WL by 2. The total intensity of load is WL and it is transferred to the support halfly means Transfer to RA is WL by 2.
and transfer to RB is WL by 2. For a cantilever beam, case 1, point load act free end of beam. The figure show the cantilever, one end is fixed and other end is free. Here is the reaction of RA because of the external load is applied on that beam. For solving that particular beam, first of all you have to take the submission Fy that is equal to 0. Then upward forces is positive and the downward forces is negative. Then RA is positive minus P that is equal to 0. We easily get that solution, it is R A equal to P kil kilonewton. Okay. In that particular results, we easily conclude that the total force acting on that beam is concentrated toward that particular reactions. Means R A that is equal to total load acting on that beam. Case 2, the UDL act on entire span of beam. This is the cantilever beam and UDL W kilonewton per meter over the entire span. Here is the reactions RA at the fixed end. Similarly, you have to take the submission FR that is equal to 0. Then, first of all, positive RA minus W into L equal to 0. It is a UDL. UDL is kilonewton per meter, means intensity of W is per meter that's why we have to take w into l means total load that's equal to 0 then the value of r a equal to w into l do you have any question yes sir i have one question okay tell me about the moment in the cantilever it's very good technical question the cantilever beam is like this means it's fixed at one end and free at the other end suppose we consider a one point load at each other end their moment is force into distance means p into l okay there is a maximum moment produced at this end and zero moment produced at this free end the conclusion of this solution is the fixed end produces the maximum moment and the free end, the moment is zero. I think so you are satisfied with that answer? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Calculate beam reactions for simply supported beam by graphical method. Step 1. Draw the diagram of beam with a proper scale. This is the beam A and B and this is the point load W act on that beam. Step 2, mark the A and B in between the forces. Means take the region A, W and W, B. First mark the A in the between A and W and mark B in W and B. Step 3. Draw the vector diagrams and polar diagrams with appropriate scale. Okay. First of all, you have to take the A point and the region A and the region B reflect the exactly over here. First of all, take A point and draw this line. This line indicate the intensity of W and mark a B point. Then take O is a pole point anywhere in the right side of that particular line and joint OA and OB. This is the vector diagram. Step 4. Draw the funicular polygon with the help of vector diagram. This is the loaded B. This is the region A and a region B. This is the vector diagram. First of all, take a parallel lines of OA and draw in the region of A, it's this line. It is a parallel to OA. Second, 
this line is draw from take the parallel line from OB and draw O here. Finally, this is the closure. Closure means these two ends are joined with the dotted line. This is known as the closure. After that, take this closure and draw O here, which is exactly parallel to closure. This point is OC. Then the A and C indicate the intensity of RA and B and C indicate the intensity of RB. Finally, the last step is calculate reactions by measuring distance from the vector diagram and multiplied with the scale. Then reaction at A means RA that's equal to length of AC into scale and RB that's equal to length of BC into scale. Do you have any question? Yes, sir. I have one question. Uh, for ca uh, calculating reactions, which method is more accurate, analytical or graphical? The analytical method is more accurate compared to the graphical. But graphical method is so easier than the analytical. I think so. You satisfied with my answer? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. We will explain in diagram or what is the types of beam, supports and loads and what is their functions. Second is how to calculate the reactions of simple supported and cantilever beam. Graphical method is very simple method for the calculating the supports reaction. The exam point of view, it's a very better options for marks point of view. Now, you are fully competent with the solve, the problems of beam. So, worksheet is given below. Try to solve it. Example 1. Here is a solution. Step 1. Using analytical conditions of equilibrium. Summation Fy that is equal to 0. Here is the common mistaken point. The upward forces is positive, downward forces is negative. Take carefully at the time of we have to take the downward forces is negative. And the second thing is the beam is loaded with one point load and with one clockwise movement. Don't take the clockwise moment in submission FY. This is the common, most common mistaken point. The next is RA plus RB that's equal to 60. Step 2, taking moment at point A. Okay, the submission MA that's equal to 0. Here is, you have to take the 90. 90 take the positive because of it's a clockwise moment. That's why here is mistaken point is maximum. You don't take the moment with the distances. These are the moment. Already had to moment. Then you take directly as a positive or the negative. Positive when it's in a clockwise. Negative when it's in anti-clockwise. Then the value of RV is 55. We easily solving this equation. And Putting the value of RB in equation 1 and we easily get that the value of RA. Problem 2. In this problem, there is a one UDL and there is a one point load. The point load is at the overhanging portion. The UDL is 50 kN per meter. Means for the one meter, the intensity of UDL is 50 kN. Step 1. Convert the UDL into point load means problem figure to solution figure here the total intensity of UDL is converted into point load the intensity of UDL is 50 into 5 that's equal to 250 kilonewton 
it is act exactly center of the span of UDL. Step 2. Calculate the reactions by using analytical conditions of equilibrium. Similarly, you have to take the submission F y that is equal to 0. Upward forces is positive. Downward forces is negative. In here, there are two forces. One force is point load 250 which is converted to UDL to point load and this is the second point load is 20. The addition of these two forces are Ra plus Rb equal to 270 Newton. Then take the moment produced at A that is equal to 0. In here R into 5 this produce the anti-clockwise moment that is why we have to take the minus sign over here. The maximum mistaken point is here minus Rb into 5. The positive because it is produce a clockwise moment plus this produce a clockwise moment. And basically the solution of that particular equation Rb equal to 149 Newton. Putting the value of Rb in equation 1 and we easily get that the value of Ra. Here is one note, check the addition of reactions are equal to the total load. Means Ra plus Rb that is equal to 270. The value of Ra is 121 plus value of Rb is 149 that is equal to 270. Here is the check. Here is the solution. Step 1. Draw diagram of beam with a proper scale and mark PQRS in between of forces. Here is the simple supported beam diagram. First of all, mark P in between first support and first load. Then mark Q in between 20 and 40 kN. Then mark R in between 40 and 10 kN. And the finally, mark S in between 10 kN and the last support. After that, take the scale for the proper measurement. The scale is depending upon the intensity of load and the measurement of that particular length of the beam. The length of the beam is around 5 meter. So, you take a scale 1 centimeter that's equal to 0.5 meter. Step 2. Draw vector diagram with appropriate scale. For that particular vector diagram, please be careful about the scale is 1 centimeter equal to 20 Newton. It's depending upon the higher and lower intensities of load. Step 3. Draw funicular polygon. With the help of vector diagram, then step 4, calculate the reactions by measuring distance from the vector diagram, Ra equal to length of Pt into scale. You have to take the proper scale, in here calculate the reactions, then please be careful you have to take the scale of vector diagram not a scale of space diagram. It's a common mistaken point. Then easily you have to find out the value of Ra and the value of Rb. Some tips and tricks. In beam reaction calculation, great care is required in case of UDL. Take upward forces positive and downward forces negative. Check addition of reactions are equal to the total load that is total upward force that is equal to total downward force. Convert UDL into point load for easy calculation. Clockwise moment is positive and anti-clockwise moment is negative. You have learned some important topics so far and we hope you are a good time learning with us. Browse through our online library for more content on the MSPT website. 
थैंक यू स्टे कनेक्टेड हैप्पी लर्निंग